Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cherry bomb. Now, will this make my head go boom? I don't know, but it was created by Aisha Sharp. And she was from New York City, and she was a drinks consultant, and she decided to use cachaça for this, which is a different sort of spirit to use. Now, it's Brazilian. It's best known for being in the uh, Caipirinha, and it sort of has a grassy vegetal odor and taste, but it's fantastic to work with. So let's get into this. Now, it's a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking tin or glass, and we're going to start with our cachaça. We don't need a lot of it today. I'm using Novo Fogo, and this is a total of one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. The second ingredient that you're going to use is a cherry liqueur. Now in this case, I have cherry hearing, which is a darker liqueur, but if you get something that is reddish in color, it will change the appearance of the color. It may also have a little bit more sweetness, just depending on exactly what flavor you're looking for and what you can get. So we only need one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient that we're going to use today is lime juice. Now, you don't need a lot of it. In fact, we only need about half an ounce. So what we'll do is we will cut this in half, then cut out a lime wheel for the garnish and squeeze it directly into the glass. Fantastic. So all, what we're gonna do now is we are actually gonna fill this up with a bunch of ice and then we'll shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds <laughs> whilst I put it in like that. And you just do that with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand liquid cherries. Put this off to the side. And what we're going to do now is serve this in a highball glass. So you want to grab a little bit of ice and you just want to fill it up to the top with ice that doesn't want to uh, play ball. Having said that, what we'll do now is we will just fine strain this in to keep out any little ice chunks. Look at that. And you wanna make sure that you leave space to be able to put in some club soda. Now we use about two ounces or 60 mils, and this will vary depending on how much ice and the size of your glass. Take a look at that. Now grab yourself a spoon and we're just going to give this a little bit of a mix just to mix everything together. And then what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves a straw and will it blow our minds? Oh, but first we need to garnish it with our lime wheel. We gotta be complete. I'm sorry, my mind has not been blown by this. I honestly don't think that the conchasa and the cherry hearing work well together. You might need a sweeter cherry liqueur that's one of those bright cherry red styles to make this work. Having said that, it's definitely worth trying. If you like this style of cocktail though, take a look right here.